Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, SpaceX Starship prototype blows its top. Airbus unveils the first e-racer set to compete in Air Race E, and insulin-controlled diabetics can obtain second and first class medicals. Happy Friday and welcome to this show. I'm Sophie Herlock. Today is a special day for us here at Aero News, as the Aero News Network is now 23 years old. Jumping right into our top story of the day, the top of SpaceX's Starship Mach 1 prototype was blown off Wednesday during its first serious fuel tank pressurization test at SpaceX's testing facility in Boca Chica, Texas. The upper bulk head of the tank apparently failed during tanking, while the sudden release of all that pressure from the top, mostly liquid oxygen and nitrogen, created quite a vast cloud of white vapor. SpaceX stated no one was hurt in the incident, and this was not a serious development setback for the program. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk also noted this vehicle had some value as a manufacturing pathfinder, but the flight design is quite different. A flying prototype of the SpaceX Starship is expected to make its first suborbital flight in the not-too-distant future. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. Today is a new dawn. With a new name. A new logotype. A new factor. And a global kunden focus. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies and we stand behind you. Now let's take a quick look at some interesting news flying out of the aviation industry. It's time for today's trip around the patch. A whistleblower disclosed to the U.S. Office of Special Counsel, air traffic controllers at the Jacksonville Air Route Traffic Control Center in Hilliard, Florida, do not comply with FAA rules when transferring aircraft from one airspace sector to another. The OSC has notified the President and Congress non-compliance with FAA regulations by air traffic controllers at the control center. It's creating hazardous conditions that could increase the likelihood of events such as a mid-air collision. Airlines for America expects a record 31.6 passengers to travel aboard U.S. carriers worldwide during the 12-day Thanksgiving travel period, a 3.7% increase over last year. The Sunday after Thanksgiving is poised to be the busiest travel day ever for U.S. airlines, with 3.1 million passengers expected. A4A is projecting U.S. airlines will carry an average of 2.63 million passengers per day during the Thanksgiving travel period, which extends from Friday Friday, November 22nd to Tuesday, December 3rd. The FAA certified the Autonomous Distress Tracking Device and solution to satisfy ICAO requirements developed in response to high-profile aircraft accidents. The AML for the device includes the Boeing 737 Type Series. The compact Hawkeye ADT unit incorporates an embedded advanced attitude and heading reference system for determining real-time aircraft flight status. The National Aeronautics Association reminds the industry the nomination period for the Stinson Trophy will close November 30th. The Stinson Trophy was created in 1997 by the National Aviation Club to honor the accomplishments of two sisters, Catherine and Marjorie Stinson, who are among the first 11 American women to be certified as airline pilots through the Aero Club of America. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Prior to the upcoming Air Race E Racing Series, the E Racer was publicly debuted at this year's Dubai Air Show. 
The e-racer model from Team Condor Aviation is a retrofit of the winning White Lightning aircraft from Formula One races of the 1980s and 1990s. Team Condor Aviation completely gutted the piston engine and swapped in Contra Electric's twin-motor Contra rotating propeller powertrain. The fuel tank has been replaced with a 20 kilowatt hour battery. Like Team Condor Aviation, other teams signed up to Air Race E are currently developing their own aircraft using existing airframes or from scratch. Because Air Race E has the same course layout and eight lap configuration as traditional air races, the aircraft will need to be of similar size and comparable performance to classic racing planes. The FAA released a new protocol to allow individuals with insulin-controlled diabetes to apply for and obtain second and first-class medical certificates. Previously, these airmen were limited to third-class medicals. The protocol makes use of continuous glucose monitoring technology, which has seen widespread adoption among patients with insulin-controlled diabetes in recent years. The blood glucose history these devices provide allows the FAA to make more informed decisions on issuance and simplifies the procedure for pilots to monitor glucose before and during flight. The FAA will also make this CGM-based protocol available to holders of third-class medicals as well. Comments will be accepted on the new policy through January 6th although the policy went into effect last week. That wraps up our week, everyone. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to subscribe and to check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. To stay up to date on the latest aviation aerospace news this weekend, just head over to aero-news.net. Next week, there will be no AMA Drone Report or Airborne Unlimited on Thursday and Friday due to the Thanksgiving holiday. However, we will return to our normal schedule the following week. Have a great weekend and I'll see you Monday.